Hello and welcome. My guest today is Roberto Dondes. He is the Director General for Global Affairs at the Foreign Secretary of Mexico. And he's going to talk to us about Mexico's contribution to the development agenda. Mr. Dondes, thank you so much for coming uh, to talk to us here at Sino Mexico. It's a pleasure being here with you. Let me start by asking you, what is Mexico going or what is Mexico's contribution to the, to the summit in New York, to the new development agenda? Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much. And it's, uh, you know, this is a huge moment for the UN. And this is a moment where the international community has decided that development is not only about some countries or about governments per se, but it's actually about everyone. It's a moment that we decided that development has to be based on three pillars, the social, the economic, and the environmental pillar. That every kind of development that we try to achieve has to be sustainable if we want it to be sustained over time. So this is a huge moment and Mexico uh, strongly agrees with this new view. So in the negotiation process and part of what we've been talking about, some of the issues that Mexico has championed have been, first of all, social inclusion. One of the most important things, we have to make sure that development gets to everyone, not just to a few. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for our country. It's a challenge for our region. But we have to get there in the next 15 years. Second, the multidimensionality of poverty. We... <laughs> Now we understand that poverty is not only about income. It's about those issues that you lack, access to health, access to housing, access to water, because people might not have the, great, the highest income that we want them to have, of course, but if they have their basic needs covered, they're in a much better place. And that's part of what we have learned, and that's how we in Mexico measure poverty. And it's actually something that we took to a negotiation, and it's perfectly well established in the new agenda. Gender issues are always very important. And um, the other, uh, migration. Migration is a very important issue. We have to acknowledge the, the, the positive aspects of migration, how migrants have helped in the development of economies, of societies, and of course, in man maintaining our environment. And, if, and lastly, I would also say the goal 16, which is on the rule of law, which is a huge issue, not a simple issue, but a huge issue that we have to deal with if we actually want to achieve development. So Mexico has been working on these issues for the past two years in negotiations, and will certainly take them to the next meeting summit in New York. Now, let's go back to poverty or poverty reduction for a moment. As you mentioned, this is a challenge for Latin America, for other countries as well. But it's also a challenge for Mexico. According to um, ECLAC, uh, the country has managed to reduce um, about one percentage point in 20 years, um, bringing down 53% of, of, of the, the population uh, that, that live in, in poverty to 52%. So how is Mexico now dealing with this challenge with the new development agenda? Well, first, the first thing I would um, suggest is that we have to understand that we in Mexico measure poverty in a different way than most of the world. Most of the world measures poverty just in terms of income per capita and establishes a, a line of extreme poverty of $1.25 per day. We don't do that. If we did that, actually our poverty line would be much lower than what you, than what you see. The way we measure poverty is that we look at those issues that we have to have access to. So we have seven basic issues that each one should have access, like health, like housing, like water, water like food security, and anybody who's missing three of those issues, we decide to count them as, ex as in extreme poverty. Two issues is in poverty. We also take into consideration income, but it's only one more issue that we take into consideration. So we have to part from that, that logic. When we change the way of measuring poverty, actually our poverty line increased, but it has helped us to really understand what is needed. In, in the country. So government programs are actually based and directed at attending those basic needs of the population. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Those issues have actually decreased. The, the, the amount of, um, of people who still don't have access to, 
to health has decreased considerably. Same thing to water, same thing to housing. So we have good results in that. But we are also caught in the midst of the econ world economic recession. And even though Mexico has maintained its growth, economic growth, it has been a limited growth. And that, that's an issue that we have to, to work together with other countries because we are part, Mexico is certainly part of the world economic system. We are very much involved in international trading. And we are, of course, have a huge partner to our north uh, whose economy has not been doing very well. So uh, still 70% or so of our exports go to the United States. In that sense, we have challenges and we have to attend to them. So we're working with programs directly addressed for the specific needs of Mexico. And finally, let me ask you about the, the conference on climate change, which will uh, take place in December uh, in Paris. What is Mexico's contribution? What does Mexico want to take from this conference? Well, this is a huge, hugely important conference because we need an international treaty to deal with climate change. Climate change is it's a global threat that no single country can, can act on by itself. So we started this process long ago, but uh, it actually took roots in, in the COP16 that was held in Cancun. Mm. And from that point on, Mexico has been very involved in the process. We've been working very closely with the French government. We strongly believe this is the last opportunity for everybody to come together and agreeing on actions to make sure that global warming does not go over the two degree, two degree centigrade that uh, we have set our goals into. It's not going to be easy, but we have to do it. And the way to do it, in our view, is to understand that we all have to act. Of course, the developed countries, which historically had contributed more to global warming because of the pollution emissions that they have generated, have to take a special lead. But we, but we developing countries, we also have to contribute. And we have to do it in, in a way that we can allow for our development and our economic growth to happen, but to do so in a cleaner, in a green way. To do, to do that, we also need support from developing countries. We need technology transfer from developing countries. And all of this has to be addressed. Very importantly, we have to get to a legally binding document in Paris that opens the door for countries to increase their ambition and their contributions to address climate change over time. In a way that it's a, it's a, a mechanism that's not fixed, but it's flexible enough to allow for increased ambition with no backsliding. That's it. So there's lots of work to do, I assume. And you are going now to go to New York. So I wish you a very uh, safe travels and a very good trip as a successful mission in New York. Is there anything else that you would like to add to this interview? Well, just, you know, the development agenda, climate change, these are issues that create challenges to every single country. And there's certainly challenges to Mexico. We will be challenged to get the agenda going and to achieve all the goals and uh, objectives that are there in the, in the um, agenda. But that's what we're supposed to do. We have to set a high standard and, and go towards it. Same in climate change. We have to try to get as much done as we can. The world needs us to find a way to work sustainably. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to go back and undo the damage that we do to the world. Well said. Thank you very much, Roberto Dondes. Thank you. Thank you.